Welcome to Whitney's Wanders. Today I am here with registered nurse Angie Wilson. Hi. Welcome. Hi. 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 Um, Angie, I have known for several years now. She's amazing and she specializes in skin care. So I love Obaji because they don't test on animals unless it's prescription. If it's prescription, that's a government thing. Um, right, FDA regulation. Yeah, they yeah. require it. So that's not their fault. Um, but I love their products. The tretinoin, this guy is my favorite, absolutely. Do you want to describe like, what that does? Um, tretinoin is actually a retin-A, and it was used primarily to get rid of acne, mm -hmm. but they saw that it got rid of wrinkles. So it's a twofer. Yes. So it's amazing. <laughs> um, so basically, it's great to use. You want to start out just once a week mm -hmm. and then slowly build up. And then as you build up and you can use it every day, then you're ready to move up in strength. I tell people it makes you look like a lizard and then you look really young afterwards. Yes, yes, um, there's a process. Is it's, it's a process. Yeah. You're gonna have some um, some peeling. A some lot of peeling, but it's good because yes. you'll peel and you'll peel. You're getting rid of that dead skin cells. Yeah, and I use um, the Mia, the brush, yep. uh, which is Clarisonic. Clarisonic, yep. And those are great because when you do become lizard lady looking, um, <laughs> which you will, but then afterwards it looks so good. Uh, it's great because it wipes off, you know, gets all that dead skin out and is, you know, stimulating your skin for new growth. So yeah, this is one of my favorite. Every time people are like, your skin looks amazing, what do you use? I'm like, Tretinoin. <laughs> yep. Get it. Obviously, topical is great, but as we get older, sometimes more invasive procedures are, I don't want to say necessary because I don't, you know, it's everybody ages in their own way and everybody has their own comfort level with it. Um, but I started doing Botox when I was, I think 23 was the first time that I got it. Uh, and obviously at that point in your life, you don't need, you don't look in the mirror and go like, I have wrinkles, I need Botox. And that's not why you get it. You get it because it's a preventative. Whereas a filler like Restylane. Filler goes in between, the, we have three layers of skin and filler goes in between the top two and it plumps up the skin. So I always call it, it's like body work on a car. It's going to pop that dent out. But I like the one out. thing that I don't <laughs> like is people think that Botox and all of this is so expensive and it's not mm -hmm. really because it's just the media or uh, the media has portrayed different actors, actresses, you know, they, they kind of look fake. That nine times out of 10 has been surgically enhanced. Right. It's not tons of Botox and filler. And the ladies that I treat that come in my office, nine times out of 10 also, they're blown away about how cheap Botox is. Yeah. You know, if you have like smoker straw lines, I can do that for $44. Wow. And people are like, are you kidding me? And I'm like, no. But people, the, the media and that have always hyped it up. And right. it's so expensive. Do you want to be, you want to have a um, frozen appearance where you can't have a lot of movement? <laughs> or do you still want movement? Talk to your injector. Yes. They can help you determine and, and achieve the goals that you want. Right. It, it, well, it was so important for me because I have, my face is my job. So I have to be able to move my face. Um, but there was one, like when I raised my eyebrows, I hate, I would get this one wrinkle just right across. And so that was what I wanted taken care of, but I needed to still be able to move my eyebrows. And so Botox for me is about 40 bucks. And then I have girlfriends who get their entire face frozen and they're like, this is better for my marriage. My husband doesn't know when I'm angry. <laughs> this is not I'm a mad. bad idea either yeah. sometimes. Um, but you know, I think it's to each his own. But you have to trust the person that's doing it as well because with Botox you pay per unit. Right. So if somebody's trying to, you know, get like as many units in your face as possible so that their price is going up, um, that's not somebody that you want to be with. And the first time I ever met with you, you were like, girl, you don't need Botox. Get out of here. <laughs> and I was like, it's just like a little, little tiny bit. And so I think it was like $25 and it was perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Um, so it's good to have somebody who is not like, oh yeah, get more, get this, get that. You can't trust that person. You need somebody who's do really your research. Cares. Yeah, definitely do your research. Don't go to uh, Groupon. That's yeah. not the kind of Groupon that you want. Well, because you you know, like you'll go get, you'll see Groupons that are like, oh, a Swedish massage. You go and it's like this really shady back alley. You're like, <laughs> okay, this is why it's thirty dollars for a ninety minute massage. So when it comes to your Botox or anything medical. Don't 
go that route. Yeah, don't go cheap. <laughs> yeah. Watch the show box. Yeah, spend the money. <laughs> yeah, because people, I mean, you can really get messed up. You can. It. And then always ask your injector to see the stuff that they're using. Mm -hmm. You know, you have that right as a patient. Even like when I was in working in the hospital, I always had that right to show the patient this is the drug. Yeah. Don't just take their word for yeah. it and it just should take, say take Botox it. on it. Yeah, it should say Botox. <laughs> not, it should not, have not a lot. Yeah, it should have a lot <laughs> number. It should, you know, say um, um, USA on the bottle. Thank you so much for meeting no, me today. Thank you for having me. And um, I love Angie Wilson. She's amazing. Uh, she's at Added Touch yeah. also. She owns her company. We love women boss ladies who own their own businesses. And if you guys have any questions that you want me to ask to Angie, please just leave them in the comments or put them on Instagram. And I'd be happy to talk to her and come in and, and answer those for you. Um, because I know there's it's a, there's a lot of confusion. You know, and, and especially with Hollywood, it makes everything like, oh, I went in for a boob job and 15 minutes later, like, I have terrible D's. And, you know, the way that they set things out, right. it's confusing as a, a customer is. Um, who wants to just, you know, maybe look like, they don't, you know, fly. You want to look like you just refreshed. Yeah, like yeah. me, but I might get sleep at some point. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which I don't. Thank you. Bye.